Playing minion build in Path of Exile, and especially playing it without a build guide after doing the same in Diablo 4 and Last Epoch, really puts things into perspective. Path of Exile offers quite the variety in how you can set up your minions, and with all the praise for the game, I expected it to be the clear winner in this quote-unquote standoff, but it's not all that simple. Before I get into my PoE minion setup, leveling experience and the comparison to Last Epoch and Diablo 4, let me give some quick context into why this video exists. After attempting full minion build in Diablo 4's Season 2, and having a bit rough experience, I compared it to Last Epoch to kinda figure out where D4 is lacking, and what would be nice to see in Diablo 4. Well, it's only logical to do the same thing with the master of ARPGs, Path of Exile. Similar to other two builds, my minion build in PoE was also supposed to be a full-on minion army, where my character idled in the background, acting mainly as a support. One thing to underline at this point is that this was my first attempt at playing PoE without any guides. I had an idea of what build I wanted, so I just went in that direction, independent of whether the build was viable, meta, or any other sort of thing. In my case, I knew I wanted a full minion build, so I searched skill tree for minion and just planned my route from there on. Same with gems, I was looking for summon minion gems, sporting gems for minion damage, health, etc. And when it comes to gear, I prioritize sockets, my main stat, and resistances. I did not really want to think about crafting until I reached endgame. This also means that this build will suck as much as the builds from other two games, so it's all fair and square. Now, the build. I went with all minion skills I could get my hands on. Ray Zombie, Summon Skeleton, Summon Raging Spirit, which were supported by gems that would give attack speed, movement speed, life, life regen, and so on. Additionally, I added Summon Phantasm to SRS because more minions. And on top of that, I also had to have a traversal skill. I have to say that the early game had a bit too much minion management for my taste. Mostly because Summon Skeleton and SRS are minions that live for a specific amount of time and then just die off, so you have to resummon them over and over again. Also, Ray Zombie was not as powerful early because they would die often, however, after level 20-ish, when I invested a couple of skill points into minion life regen, max HP, this was no longer the problem. They pretty much never died after that. Leveling experience was pretty nice. I could easily clear pretty much all campaign, apart from some bosses after those resist penalties hit. But even though pretty smooth, the experience was not exponential, because at times my build would just plateau until I picked up another support gem or put enough skill points into the skill tree where it made difference. It could be summed up as started off slow, got a bit better, stagnated, then got a bit better, then stagnated, then got a bit better, and so on. Could also be a skill issue. So, how did minions feel? They definitely feel deadlier and more powerful than minions in D4 and Last Epoch, but they also require a bit more management depending on minion choice, even when I got to mapping. Rather than focusing on minion numbers, I opted for minions that don't require constant resummoning, which resulted in Ray Zombie, Summon Spectre, Enemy Guardian, Summon Carrion Golem, and Summon Raging Spirit, coupled with Summon Phantasm. This all totaled in around 35 to 40 minions. With this setup, things started to look much better, and much closer to what I played in Last Epoch. In Last Epoch, I also had like 19 constant minions, which I did not have to pay attention to, and then 10 Wraith plus Bell minion that I would spam, similar to SRS spam. So even though PoE allows you to create a full army, it mostly favors a balance of support gems and decent number of minions. Contrary to other two ARPGs, I had to pay a bit more attention to my character survivability. So, after playing pretty much the same minion build in Diablo 4, Last Epoch, and Path of Exile, Here's my wishlist and summary of minion playstyles in these games. For Diablo 4, as mentioned before, I wish they had more types of minions, larger minion count, deeper minion skill tree, and more ways to summon them, so it's not just like a hotbar button, and minions to actually be viable on its own, rather than needing to supplement the damage with other skills. So in summary, it is a basic minion system, with few minions that require damage supplement from you. Last epoch, I think would be nice to include Auras. I think this is a pretty nice system in Path of Exile that Last Epoch should borrow. Another thing that I think Last Epoch should borrow from Path of Exile is a minion-like animate guardian. I really like the play between gear and the summon, where you would put all the gear pieces together and then summon a minion based off of that. In summary, Last Epoch offers diverse minion setup that can stand on its own and allows pretty laid-back and lazy experience. Path of Exile. 
Since I don't have much experience in the game, I may not understand some underlying mechanics, which would then make these suggestions irrelevant. As I started playing the build, I wrote notes like needs more ways to summon minions, but later I found it, that it exists. You can implicitly summon a phantasm, or there's a gear stat that says 25% chance for SRS. Another thing I wrote was needs more minions that are not on a timer, but turns out they have that too. Summon Golem, Animate Guardian, Ray Spectre, and Zombies become pretty decent later in the game. However, I do think there's room for improvement in a couple of things. Number one, cleaner minion UI. I think Last Epoch did this better, where you can have clear insight into your minion stats. You can easily see all the resistances, damage, minion scaling, and so on. Number two, minion control. Even though minions in PoE are quite smart for a minion, especially compared to Diablo 4, I still found myself a couple of times trying to run away from mobs while minions get the aggro. Having that minion direct button from last epoch just left me jaded. Number three is that it's hard to find minion skills or skills in general. You get skill gems during the campaign playthrough and I wasn't really encouraged to hop from town to town to check all the available gems in shops. Only after I reached mapping and had all my NPCs set up in my hideout did I find a couple of pretty cool minions that would eventually end up in my build. In summary, PoE has deep minion system that can stand on its own, but it's a bit more active experience due to flasks and minion choice. To conclude this one up, I think minions in Path of Exile are superior in a lot of areas, but ultimately I think it comes down to the playstyle. PoE requires much more attention even for a minion build because of all the one-shot opportunities and because you have to still manage your flasks. On the other hand, Last Epoch is close when it comes to system depth, but the experience is much more laid back, which is what I actually prefer.